what is going on you guys and welcome back to another video um so you guys i'm back different area position whatever whatever you want to say um so i'm back with another video um i know a couple like two days ago friday i made a live stream like reviewing and reacting to monday night raw a lot of people liked it um, tomorrow I'll be coming out with a Smackdown one. Um, but today we're back to something I know a lot of people like on this channel and we're talking about baseball. Now the season is about to start. We only have a couple weeks left. So I decided to do, um, like a top 10 series. Um, so we're going to do pitchers, re uh, relievers, um, Closers, catchers, first baseman, second, third, short, you know, left field, center, right. Um, so the way the order is going to go, I won't be uploading the video like back to back and all that or like one day. I'll do pitchers one day and then whenever I can, I'll do relievers and stuff. But I'm going to try to do it all before. Well, I'm going to do it all before the season starts. Now, we're going to do pitchers first. That's how it's going to go. Pitchers. Then we're going to do relievers. Um, we won't do closers. I just realized it because it's the same thing. So we're going to do relievers. Um, then we'll go move on to catchers. Then we'll do first basements. Then second basements. Then shortstops. Then third basements. Then left field, center field, and right field. That's how the order will go. So we're going to start off with our top 10 pitchers. Um, um, so... Starting off with number 10, we're going to go with Luis Severino. Now, I don't have that much stats about him. He, do, he did pretty good. Um, now, I don't have no stats. I forgot to get it um, about him. You know, uh, he I know he's pretty good. Um, he's done pretty good for the Yankees in the playoffs um, a little bit. And the wild card, he did pretty good. Um, he got to his moment. But he has his moments here and there. Um, where he struggles, he is injured right now. He said they plan to have him back by May. Um, but he's pretty good in general. Um, he gets those strikeouts and those ERAs. He'll be a pretty good pitcher. Um, sorry I didn't have that much stats for my, for Luis. Um, so my number nine is Noah. Uh, my number nine is, um... No, Noah Syndergaard. I know this might be weird because he did have an injury, but it's, you know, it's whatever. So he's my number nine. Um, I have the rest of the stats for everybody else. So innings pitched, he has 154.1. That's actually pretty good. His ERA is a 3.03. His whip was a 1.21. And his, um, his FIP was a 2.80 um so as you guys can see those stats are pretty good um his strikeout ratio wasn't too high um he had he's had a couple injuries these past seasons um like last season he had an injury this season he had an injury this past season he had an injury actually that's what i meant um with like like a certain disease whatever um but I believe that he's been dominating uh, spring training from what I've been seeing. So, you know, if he stays healthy, I think he could do pretty good. Or he could do a good job for the Mets this season. Now, my number uh, eight is Corey Kluber. I know um, Corey Kluber is talked about a little bit, not that much. He's like a middle player. He's not overrated or underrated. He's in the middle. Um, inning, he has a 215.0 innings pitched, a 2.89 ERA, a 0 0.99 whip, and a 3.12 FIP. So, those stats are pretty good. Um, his ERA is pretty low. Um, his whip is high a little bit. Um, it's there. His strikeout ratio is pretty good. He gets his strikeouts in when he can, um... I believe he's done pretty good for the Indians. I just don't know why when they go to the playoffs they choke and they just do bad. But he's a he's a good pitcher. He's a two-time Cy Young winner. 
so you know he's a good pitcher. Um, but yeah, he's my number eight. Now, my number seven is Blake Snail. Um, he was the 2018 American League Cy Young winner. Um, he had... Um, 118.2 innings pitched, a 1.89 ERA, a 0 0.97 whip, and a 2.95 FIP. So, Blake Snow did a good job this past season for the Rays. Um, he, with that nasty, that curveball that he had was pretty nasty. Um, I feel like if he carries it on and he did the same thing, he could be a two-time All-Star or a two-time Cy Young winner. I believe he's going to do great this uh, season for the Rays. That was my number seven. Now, now my number six is Aaron Nola. Nola. Um, Aaron Nola has, was second or third contender for the Cy Young winner this past season. Um, a 212.1 innings pitch, a 2.37 ERA. Uh, 0 0.99 whip and a FIP of 3.01. So as you guys see, his stats were pretty good because he was contending for the Cy Young. Um, I think he's he's he beat Jay Garrietta to be number one for the Phillies um, rotation. Um, the Phillies, I feel like if they could get Keuchel, they'll be a a way better team. Um, now, that was my number six. My number five is Clayton Kershaw. I know he's been the pitcher that has always been number one, but this season was a little rough for him. He got injured. So he had 161.1 innings pitched, an ERA of 2.37, a whip of 1.04, and a FIP of 3.19. So as you guys can tell, his, you know, he had a little struggle, um, but you got to consider he's still probably the one of the best left-handed pitchers in baseball you know that curveball that he has is like it's crazy because it's whoop, whoop, right down the middle it's crazy and over the past years he's had an era of under you know it's never been over three point something it's always been under uh three um so yeah he was my number five now my number four is jacob de the 2018 national league cy young winner um, he had, uh, 217.0 innings pitched, an ERA, ERA of 1.70, the lowest in baseball pa this past season, a whip of 0 0.91, and a FIP of 1.99. So his record wasn't too good because the Mets, sadly, weren't able to, you know, back him up and get some runs in and win the game for him. Uh, but he still did good. Um, I hope they give him a contract extension. Um, I feel like he'll continue on and doing great because these past two seasons that he's had, he's done pretty good for the Mets in their rotation. Um, so, yeah, that's my number f four. Now, now my number three is Max Scherzer. I know Max Scherzer has done a great job this past is these past two seasons. Um but I felt like I needed to put him in number three. Um, reason mainly um, is that he hasn't been doing that good. He hasn't gone to the playoffs that much and shined. And these other two players that are my number two and number one have done a pretty good job. So, you know, that's why I'm putting Max there. So his, he has 220.2 innings pitched, ERA of a 2.53, a whip of 0.91, and a FIP of 2.65. So as you guys see, he has a pretty good stats. His strikeouts were high, the highest one, I believe. Um, he's done really good for the Nationals. He's done a great job these past seasons for them. Um, and has done a great job in general pitching. So that's my number three. Now, coming down to my number two is Chris Sale. 158.0 innings pitched, an ERA of a 2.11, a whip of 0 0.86, and a FIP of 1.98. Now, Chris Sale in the playoffs did a good job for Boston. Um, he came in and just was destroying. That slider is so devastating that he has. 
Um, did a great job closing for them in the World Series. Um, just did a good job overall. I feel like he still deserves his number one spot there. Um, they got he. I know he came from the White Sox, but he's done a great job. He did a good job in the World Series, and um, he deserves the number two spot. Now, finally, to my number one is Justin Verlander. He has an innings pitch of two. Uh, 214.0, ERA of a 2.52, a WHIP of 0 0.90, and a FIP, a FIP of 2.78. Now, I picked Justin Verlander as my number one because that dude has decimated the playoffs. I know with the Boston, with Boston, he didn't do too good, but he's been decimating on that team. Like he's been doing great. Number one, um, he's got he's 35 or 36, I believe, but he's still doing good. Um, I believe he contended for the American League and uh, Cy Young, he deserved it. Um, he he's done a really good job for them, but you know, we just got to continue on. If he stays healthy, this is for all the pitchers. If they stay healthy, they'll be they'll be great. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, if you're brand new, hit that like button and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Peace.